What's going on my YouTube family? So in today's video, uh, as you can see from the title, stop taking medicine today. What do we mean by this? Um, so um, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, on Twitter? <laughs> so those of you that follow me on Twitter, uh, I put a post yesterday um, saying that um, I'm about to try this vegan uh, diet for seven days. Um, gonna change, swap from eating meat to doing a vegan diet but I've had a little little research into it and uh, I'm going to go with more of the vegetarian diet because I can eat fish, eggs, um, some organic cheeses, things like that because uh, obviously I'm still trying to keep my, I'll keep some size and I don't want to obviously, I need some good amount of fats and stuff so and fish is, is awesome man but um, what led me to, to doing this um, is uh, I follow um, a gentleman by the name of Dr. Sebi. I don't know if you guys have heard. If you haven't heard of Dr. Sebi, look him up. Um, he's a freaking a fantastic, magnificent guy. Um, like, he passed away this year, um, sadly, but I mean, if you guys haven't heard of Dr. Sebi, I, I strongly suggest you jump on YouTube and, and write Dr. Sebi or go online on Google and do some research about him. Dr. Sebi, um, he cured AIDS. He's cu well. He cures AIDS, cancer, um, hepatitis, blindness. People that with disabilities, he can he cured them. Um, and what happened was in the I think it was the 80s, he got taken to a court in New York because um, um, apparently they said that he. He's not a doctor, so he shouldn't be help. He shouldn't be saying, telling people lies that he can help cure their like diseases like AIDS and cancer and all this kind of stuff. And um, and he actually won that court case. Um, I know it sounds crazy because obviously from mainstream media, what we see, cancer kills everyone and AIDS and all this stuff, and there's no cure for this stuff. And but don't believe the bullshit man, trust me, don't believe the bullshit, but he died this year and he actually proved in court, he, the court, the, um, the judge said, um, get me a couple, get me like three, I think it was three or four of your patients and I want to see that you've actually cured them, like I want proof basically before I can let you go, you know, so what he done is he brought 77 people into the court that he cured people with AIDS, cancer, blindness, all of this stuff. And and he won that court case. He was a, he was a, like, a fascinating man that died this year. And I didn't know that he died, obviously. I was doing some research yesterday into like foods and stuff. And then I've come across him. Um, and uh, I've followed him for a long time. Like um, I've took like some of his his health, um, health supplements and um, uh, but I didn't, I didn't know that he passed away um, a few weeks ago, actually. Uh, but yeah, um, it started making me think about all this shit that happens in the world. You know, like um, I have a lot of a lot of family members, and I have a lot of friends that take all different kind of things. You know, all these medicines, like you know, things like uh, for asthma, asthma pumps, and pains, really strong painkillers, and and people that take, I know people that take antidepressants and all this shit and, th and this shit, this shit does more worse than it does good painkillers as we know, if you take too many fucks up your liver um, antidepressants have got all these terrible side effects to them um, even people living with things like can even, even people living with cancer when they get chemotherapy um, chemotherapy for those who don't know it's, it's, it kills the cells, like the bad cells, yeah but it also kills all the good cells as well because it can't differentiate which which is which. Like so, it kills some of the good cells that you actually need in your body. So you can actually come out worse than what you when you started. And I was just thinking, you know, like <clears throat> like we're putting all this shit into our body, you know, and and we don't even know like we don't even know what it is, you know, all these medicines and stuff. We just think, oh, a health professional has showed us that we need this tablet or we need this medication, so it must be okay. But we don't even, like, we never go to the root of the cause. Um, just, we never go to the root of the cause. Um, and, you know, I know a lot of us have heard this saying, you are what you eat. 
um, but we don't understand what that means. But for me doing my research the last few days, like it's shocking. Like um, for me myself, I'm someone that well, there's many of us in, in, in society, but me myself, if I'm speaking for myself, um, I've always liked you know fast food, chicken, burgers, all that kind of stuff. As you guys know from when I used to be really big, um, I, I, I loved like steaks and and chicken and 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 uh, lamb chops and all this kind of stuff and, and we think oh this is great you know like this is good food this is what we need protein and all this stuff but we don't think about how this shit is actually like made you know like chickens um if you have a look on youtube there's a there's a um a documentary called earthlings go and check that out where you see like chickens like all in like a massive barn and they all some of them are dead some of them are like um oh it's just it's fucking crazy like some some of these chickens are like they, they, they all get put together basically um like thousands of chickens and they get injected with like steroids growth hormone all that kind of shit um to make them obviously bigger uh for consumption and all that kind of shit but some of them are dead some of them their limbs have fell off and um i know they db they beak a lot of these chickens as well, which is like, and with, that's without any pain because like they just take the oh man, like, and you see like pigs as well, like getting hung upside down, and then they just slice the throat and then they leave them there, like, while they're still alive. Oh man, like, you know, like, and you, you have to think, like, this is the shit that we're eating, this is the shit we're putting into our stomachs, man, and then you wonder why, like, you know, like, like, um. Like for example, milk. Milk is like they they put a lot of antibiotics in there and and, and stuff to keep it fresh, to keep it fresh. And we're not we're, and we're not actually meant to be like drinking milk. Milk is for like baby calves and stuff like you know like it's for them to grow. That's why you see and it's got a lot of estrogen in it. That's why you see a lot of men that drink it like middle-aged men that drink loads of tea. You see them with bitch tits and all this shit. And I'm not even lying. I swear to God, this is all fucking true. Um, so you, you know, like we, we we eat all this shit, and we and we don't realise where this shit comes from, man. Like, and and then like we end up with like diabetes and and, um, and heart attacks, and we have you know obesity and all this stuff. Like, I know in 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 America especially, like the number one cause for death at the minute is obesity. Like, all these fast foods and stuff. Like, so like um, not not to sound like one of these another fucking. Not, not to sound like another person that's just coming along and trying to explain why we need to eat vegetables and all this like I'm not trying to preach to anyone obviously eat exactly what you want do what you want but for me someone that loves meat that grew up eating meat since I was a kid to like making this health conscious decision to try a vegetarian diet for this week um, like you have to like look at it and think you know he there must be something to it if someone like that like me can is willing to change like how he's at for all his life to like go to eat healthy you have to think why would someone want to do that like and you'll see like like i was even reading like you know like in a lot of foods they put these dyes in them to make them like um they put these dyes in them and it just like makes the oh i can't even remember how it went but they put these dyes in them and it's meant to like do something. I, I don't know if you guys know what I'm on. You guys, some of you guys will know what I'm on about. They put these dyes, and I can't remember if it's to like make them. Oh man, I think it's to make them. Oh man, I can't even remember. Do you know what? That's gonna bug me. They put these dyes in the food to keep. I think it's for flavoring or something. It's something to do with flavoring. Don't quote me on that. Go and have a look on Google. It's something to do with the dyes they put in these foods, like, like, um, like beef and chicken and all this stuff. Like, you know, when you get like, um, like chicken, um, chicken for sandwich, to sandwiches. You know, what am I talking about? Let me show you. Hang on. This will be better. When you get this shit here, I've had this shit, shit in here for a few days anyway. So, but when you get this shit here, sandwich fill up. That's what word I was looking for sandwich when you get that shit there they put these dyes in them like for, to keep their flavor and it's like and that them dyes like when kids and stuff eat them like it, it, it like this is what leads to like things like ADHD and like 
even like things like autism and stuff like it's all to do with your diet and your food and i know you don't probably think i'm talking shit i swear to god it's so true like google um if you google things like doctor like doc, do you know what just look on on google for dr sebi look at um why we all should become why we should get back to eating uh healthy foods you know like uh, foods that are from the, the earth you know and, and there was a really good article online as well and it said about um, if you like if you can't just eat it straight away if something if so, if there is something that you if there's something there that you can't eat straight away that you have to cook and add things to it to, so you can eat it then you shouldn't be eating it which is like things like chicken frozen chicken and stuff that you get in in um, in supermarkets for example where they add all these things to them to preserve them and and you can't eat them so you cook them for like so long then you shouldn't really be eating it so um i've just made this like this big decision man that i don't want to fucking i don't want to die at some young age man. i don't want to be unhealthy like what I've, you know what i don't know if you guys find this but like have you ever like gone to like a fast food restaurant um, like a, let's say you go to a KFC drive through this one really fucks me up. If you go to a KFC drive through and like you go and eat the food, have you noticed that you start feeling groggy and tired? When food starts doing that to you, that's when you know you need to back away from that shit, man. That's and that's 100% true. That that's it's not it's not good for your system. And a lot of like meats, we can't digest a lot of meat, so it, it stays there, and that's how people get like belly fat and all this kind of stuff. Listen, guys, I've rambled on a bit but just know i'm trying this for the today was the first day trying the vegetarian diet my missus is doing it as well what did i eat today i had two like two veggie burgers and um like these cheese things oh, i can't explain them they were like these cheese ball things I had a couple of them and then we're gonna like we're gonna go out to eat soon so um, I'll probably take the camera with me when we eat actually because um, we're going to go out for a few drinks and stuff like we ain't been out in a little while so we're going to go out for a few drinks and then um, have some food and it's obviously going to be a vegetarian meal and you know what I'm really excited about it man like I hope like I can do this as a change and a way a change of life basically you know, and I can start living like this because I want to be healthy man I don't want to like be all fucked up and stuff and for those that think I'm probably talking crap that's fine like, obviously you guys carry on doing what you gotta do but I gotta do what I gotta do and you know? like, I'm trying to live a healthy life now man like I don't want to be like the age of 50 or 60 fucking all diabetes up and fucking liver failure and all this crap and cancer like, I'm not trying to do that man I'm trying to be as healthy as possible and stay fucking healthy and get me <laughs> um, so yeah I'm going to keep you guys obviously in the loop of what I'm doing every day for this week and I hope I can do this this could be like a life changer for me man so for this week I'm going to like have the camera with me show you what I'm eating and stuff and how I'm feeling and I hope you guys enjoy these videos man um yeah so yeah i hope freaking i hope i was informative in this video and go and google that stuff man dr sebi why we should all become vegan put in why we should all become vegans obviously vegetarian as well i'm trying to i'm doing the vegetarian thing because i want to eat fish man even even though fish is still yeah it's, it still is like um fish is still like an animal but they don't go through suffering and all that kind of stuff you know and like fish, like there is a lot of fish, like crabs and stuff that you can actually eat straight away, which is like, you know. So listen, man, I'm just getting into it. So for the like vegans and the vegetarians out there, they're probably watching this. Like if I'm talking, if there's anything I'm doing that I'm gonna be doing wrong or anything that I've said wrong, just let me know, man. But like, I'm just getting into it freshly starting today. So, but yeah. That's from what I, what, everything I've said in this video is what my knowledge of it all and how I, how I think it, about it all, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, for a couple of videos up tomorrow, show you what I've been eating and stuff and I'll see you soon.